So you have October the 26th. What happens on the 26th of October? Well, a lot of stuff has happened on the October of 26th. The 26th of October, you had the first electric generator at the Hoover Dam goes into full operation. Hydroelectric dams. I remember I was talking to this piece of shit running for treasure. I don't know if hydroelectric dams are good. You don't know if using the flow of natural water and turning the flow of natural water into electricity is a good thing? It is. It's a very good thing. That's why it's 1936 at Hoover Dam. First electric generator. Not only do we have the hydroelectric dams day, but we got vaccines and Doc Holiday and the Erie Canal. The Erie Canal, Doc Holiday, the fucking OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona happened in 1881 on October 26th. The last natural case of smallpox was Ali Malo Maylin. He developed a rash in Somalia. He gets some smallpox and he recovers from it completely, which thank goodness, but he's the last person officially and symbolically to ever have smallpox. The WHO, WHO, and CDC consider this day to be the anniversary of the eradication of smallpox. The other... We've had about a dozen successes. So the smallpox vaccine is a good vaccine. The anthrax and the yellow fever vaccines, good vaccines. The hepatitis A and B, hemophilia, influenza, influenza type B vaccines are good. Whooping cough, good. Rubella, good. Mumps, pneumococcal, pneumococcal, measles, tetanus. Smallpox, polio, and TB, these vaccines are good. So there's a lot of questions with COVID and whether or not these motherfuckers, but the whooping cough and rubella, we don't have all this tetanus and measles and mumps and yellow fever and anthrax. And there was that anthrax scare. We can get vaccinated for anthrax and the vaccine lasts forever. Cowpox, cowpox got rid of, not chicken pox, but smallpox. That's how they got rid of smallpox was with cowpox. And in COVID pox and bird pox and pig pox and horse pox and monkey pox and the Erie Canal opens. Ida B. Well publishes the Southern Horrors, Lynch Law and All of Its Faces. The Soyuz 3 achieves the first Soviet space rendezvous with Soyuz 2. Georgi Baragavi, Baragavi, so bloody Bill Anderson is hit behind the ear at a skirmish in Al, uh, Albany, Missouri, 1864. Assen and Peter begins the Bulgarian Revolution. The Bulgarian Revolution of 18 of 1185. 1185, that's motherfucking 900 years ago. And it ends with the Second Bulgarian Empire. So they are going to be eventually victorious. There's a Bulgaria today. 1890, Maleko Viaduct in Chile is the ho- highest railroad bridge in the world. The president is Jose Manuel Balmaceda. In 2000, a wave of protest forces Robert Gui, Gui to step down as president after the Ivorian presidential election. The Ivory Coast, is that what we're talking about in 2000? G-U-E-I, Robert Gui, the, the protest, he stood down in 1860. Intersex Awareness Day and Gum Day by the Nauru to keep the island populated. Igor Sikorsky, that and Gum Day, they have Survivor's Day. Just every day they just, okay, there's there's 27 of us. Okay, we're going to keep on going. I mean, that's what families should do. Well, we got 28. Oh, well, we got 29 now. And now we have back to 21. Charles D- J. Peterson, chemist. Gertie Corey, biochemist. They're born. So you have scientists who are born. Garibaldi's volunteers defeat the Neapolitans bourbon on the river Volturno. Garibaldi, revolutionary Republican. So some shit at Italy. Greeted Victor Emmanuel at Tiano. Greeted him as the king of Italy. <laughs> so a lot of incredible history there. A lot of incredible science. Now, do you, maybe you got a, an event that happened on October 26th that's bigger and more powerful. Good, I want to hear about it because that's the fucking conversation. These last ones aren't as exciting as those top ones, but they're all good. You want to know who I am? I'm the guy that says engineering and chemistry and biochemistry, Angam, the Nauru. I know about the Nauru tribe. 
Three months after the end of the 10-day war, the last soldier of the Yugoslav People's Army leaves Slovenia. Slovenia, that's, you know, liberation for Slovenia. 1991, didn't they just have the Republic Day? It was just yesterday. Slovenia, they have a Republic Day, Sovereignty Day, on the 25th. So I wonder if that's like right around the same events. 1991, what happened? The end of the 10-day war. It seems like it's good that the, the People's Army, I, li I don't know, I like People's Army. But it uh, looks like it's good for Slovenia and the people of Slovenia. So the Erie Canal. This is a direct passage from the River Hudson to Niagara and the Lake Erie. Completed in eight years at a cost of just seven million bucks, 351 miles today. A statewide grand celebration, cannon shots along the canal, the Hudson, a 90-minute cannonade from Buffalo to New York City, a flotilla of boats. Governor DeWitt Clinton aboard the Seneca Chief sailed from Buffalo to New York City over 10 days. Clinton then ceremonially poured Lake Erie water into New York Harbor to mark the wedding of the waters. Seneca Chief brought back a keg of Atlantic Ocean water poured into the Lake Erie by Buffalo's Judge Samuel Wilkinson, who would later become the mayor. Ida B. Wells, she, the Southern Horrors, Lynch Law, and all, she said she points out that the black men getting lynched in the South weren't criminals. The black men getting lynched in the South were having consensual sex with white women, and the white women were saying, turning their backs on the black men that they loved. Now, I thought she was supposed to be good and holy and goodness and, and all perfect and all. Oh, she's just using her looks to fuck you over. Oh, well, that's different, isn't it? And she did that. So white woman would fuck the black man, get that black dick, and then daddy would find the white woman with the black man and then say, no, daddy, I didn't do none of that. Ida B. Wells was a black woman who published that. In 1892, so that's like right in the heart of segregation, segregated racist fucking America. Wyatt Earp was there, Doc Holliday, they kick ass at the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona. You know, there is a, I want good cops, I don't want, I want crime fighters, and so I don't think that the cops today are crime fighters. But I like good cops, you know, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday, they were a moderating, civilizing force back in the Wild West. The OK Corral, the Cowboys, these motherfucking criminal fucks calling themselves the Cowboys, like to call us a bunch of shit. So Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday confronted them bastards, 1881. That's fantastic. And then smallpox, eradicating smallpox. You don't have smallpox, neither do I. Well, that's because 1977 was the last case we had the vaccine. The vaccine got rid of that, plus anthrax and polio and tetanus and all the rest. And the first electric generator at Hoover Dam goes into full operation. So that's October 26th. The 26th of October, there's a lot of things to celebrate. So for people that's against me, well, fuck you. And then the people that don't want to be inspired by these people, I would rather have, instead of a bunch of fucking Nazi child abusing piles of shit, I'd rather have more Doc Holidays and more electric generators and more Erie Canals and more vaccines that work. I'd rather have a Soyuz 3 and a Soyuz 4 and 5. I'd rather Ida B. Wells publish a whole bunch of books. Let's build more bridges, railroad bridges. Let's be for freedom. Always be for the republic. Always be for advancing nations. Get away from the royalist bullshit. Get away from the church and the fucking religious bullshit. You need a secular country like America. So, there you go.